Hello friends, today we will address whether W sitting is in fact a sign of an underlying problem or is it a natural part of child development. Firstly, what is W sitting? It is when a child sits on their bottom with their knees bent backwards and the feet lying outside of the hips. Secondly, is it painful for us? Yes, but for a child, no, because they have more range available for internal rotation of the hips. During play, children frequently move in and out of this W sitting position. It's commonly observed between six months and four years of age. Why? It lowers their center of gravity, providing a wide base for movement which means their core muscles have to do less work in order to maintain stability and balance. How will you know that there is no underlying cause or a problem behind it? If the child is able to come out of this position with minimal support, that is they don't have to every time prop themselves on their hands to get out of the position. And secondly, it is not too frequent, that is, more than 50% of the child's play is spent in this W sitting position. What could go wrong because of which W sitting happens in a child or what can go wrong because of W sitting? First, the trunk or core muscle strength is less. W sitting allows for a child to maintain an upright sitting position with a wide base, but there are other signs associated with it. For example, delaying gross motor skills like crawling, walking, running, jumping, even climbing stairs, along with some other signs like frequent falls, or a child maintains a poor posture. They either try to sit in a slumped position or they want to prop themselves against a surface. Secondly, crossing the midline is not developed properly. With W sitting, the hip or the pelvis is locked in such a position that upper body rotation becomes limited. So the child will be attempting right hand activities with the right hand, left hand activities with the left hand. And because of which crossing midline does not happen, which affects the gross motor skills of crawling or running. In a similar manner, fine motor skills, dexterity tasks, bilateral integration tasks are all affected. Thirdly, Hand preference is not well established. W sitting allows the child to use both hands to function equally. And as a result, the hand preference required later for writing and other self-care tasks is not developed. Fourthly, muscle tightness, which could either be because of increased muscle tone or as a secondary effect of W sitting and affects mainly three group of muscles. This child may be observed walking in a pigeon-toed fashion or feet turned in. Fifth, low muscle tone could make it challenging for a child to maintain the upright posture. So assuming a W sitting position allows them to maintain stability with a wide base to perform activities. And sixth, let's put it this way. If a child has a history of hip dysplasia, the ball of the hip joint comes out of its socket frequently, which is called as dislocation. Well, that sitting position should be strictly discouraged. Let's take it to the reflex level. Is any reflex responsible for children who do W sitting too much? Symmetrical tonic neck reflex. It could be retained in the child. These could be observed in kids who had limited tummy time as infants or they were uncomfortable being on their tummy. Even in the future, they could be seen skipping stages like crawling or creeping on their bellies. So you might have observed them simply scooting on their bottom and directly going to the walking stage. As STNR brings a coordination between upper and lower body as well as between the left and right sides of the body, these children might have a poor eye-hand coordination, poor postural control, and they are usually not able to sit still because they are always struggling to keep themselves upright. What to do if you observe your child and W sitting then? Don't ask them to sit properly because as soon as your eyes are turned away, 
then resume the position again. Instead, emphasize them to sit less on the floor while playing and more on surfaces like chairs or stools. Similarly, emphasize other kind of sitting positions like side sitting, sitting with cross legs or sitting with legs in front. And kneeling or squatting kind of positions can also be emphasized. There are a multitude of games that shift the child's focus from W sitting. First, side sitting game. Moving from left to right in side sitting without touching the floor with hands. Secondly, a bottom walk game done in long sitting position that you can do with your child. Thirdly, a toe reaching activity or two people can hold hands when their legs are in front of them, which is called long sitting. Fourthly, reaching games with varied heights and distances can be provided. Fifth, some animal walks are helpful here like frog hop and lizard crawl. And finally, all kinds of playground play, especially climbing on slides or monkey bars, use of balance beams, and climbing walls helps in building core strength. I hope this video was informative for you and helps you to accept your child's W sitting as part of their regular development and also helps you learn if there is an underlying problem to it. So please recognize these in your children and you can work accordingly. Please like the video if you found it informative. Subscribe to the channel for more videos related to child development. Ring the bell icon for you do not miss any videos from my channel and please leave in the comments below any queries or suggestions that you may have. And we'll meet again soon. Bye.